Hey Cashers, Derek here, Big Six Clan. We are back in the workshop and we're gonna be creating another gadget using this device. So I saw this device and what this is, is a log dispenser. Now I'm not gonna show you how to create this log dispenser because there's several other videos out there. The person that I believe that came up with this was DJW House and I, I'll put a link to his page down in the description below. And he t did a video on this, but also West Virginia Tim did a video on it. And I'll put a link down in the description for that as well. But what, how this works, it's real simple. Um, it just releases up, so this just comes up just a little bit, and when it comes up, it dispenses a preform. Now I have a small preform here, which I like because I don't want to do a huge uh, gadget build on this one, a really big gadget, we'll say. Um, so I wanted a kind of a smaller one, but once again, so then it just goes up there without even having to lock it. Now what I want to do is create a cache that will use a marble, and when it drops, it'll release that lock. Now, if you notice, I can push down, and it doesn't come up. But if I pull up, that's when it comes out. So what I have to do is to, uh, come up with the mechanism so when the marble drops, it kicks this up so it'll drop. So that is what we are going to create today. We're gonna work on the mechanism so it will push up when the marble drops. Okay, so now we have the cash dispensing mechanism in here mounted into the birdhouse itself. Now what I did to keep it from swinging is that I inset some screws into the mechanism itself. And that's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna keep from people jamming that uh, preform all the way up and keep it from shooting out of the top and getting lodged. So that kind of solves that issue there as well. Okay, so what I did here is I put a little slope piece of wood in here because when this is together, there's gonna to be a hole right here where the marble's gonna come through. Well, I need to direct the path. So it's gonna drop, hit this, and then it'll roll down. And as it rolls down, it's gonna hit another little slope that's gonna anchor, that's gonna push up and hit that. So that is now the next step that we're gonna be working on is creating that little hinge to flip up and hit that. So let's get that built. Well, that took a lot longer than expected. Had to go through a lot of trial and error and trying to figure out how to get the marble to drop and that to pivot point up. Uh, went through a whole bunch of different, trying to find out some levers, trying to get it to flip. That just wasn't working right. Um, what I ended up coming up with was, now this is one version of it. This isn't the one I went with, but it's a almost like a star drive. And what it does, the marble comes down, hits, and it spins and the last one flips that lever up. This one was a little too big, so I end up making a smaller one. Um, and what it is, is really just these mollies that I put together. And then the one that I went with in this one has three. And right now they're just taped together, but it took three mollies to make this, the, like the triangle. And I'll show you that here in a second. And then I tape two sets of those together make it a little bit wider base so when the marble drops, it hits it. So here's, here's what it does. So as you can hear, as I put it in here, pull it up so you maybe you can see it. When it comes in, the marble and the preform drop out. So that's, that's great. So I'm gonna take this on a part and clean up my, what I'm gonna call my star drive. So before I take it completely apart and get it all glued together, this is the actual star drive um, that I created for this. So, so this is here it is. 
Um, so it kind of, as it goes through, it just kind of flips through and just kind of kicks it. Now what's happening every once in a while, the tape is creating friction and it's kind of catching. So that's why I'm gonna take the tape off and kind of clean it up a little bit and glue it, uh, make it look more sustainable. Um, and this all, all that's holding it is really a nail, so it just kind of spins freely as it goes through. So it's actually working really good, really happy with it. And I'll get that cleaned up and let it dry overnight. All right, so this is dried overnight and now I'm gonna start putting the whole box together and make sure that it works and make sure I don't need to grind down any of the edges up here. So as I was doing my test, just about every other one was kind of catching. And I'm, as I'm looking at this, I kind of need to come in and just kind of smooth these edges just a little bit. So I think there's just enough that's catching on the plate so it's not lifting up consistently every time. So let's grind these down and see if that works better. Okay, so I finally got it consistently dropping the container every time. Now one of the things I did go in and put a way to direct the ball every time going down. So I'm gonna put a hole here so when the ball comes in, it's gonna literally stay right in that section so it hits that latch every time. And then create the hole here with a slight ramp on the inside so the ball will roll back out and ready for the next person that comes up and tries to get the cash. Let me tell you, <laughs> this one is probably one of the hardest mechanisms that I've built and I'm kind of leery of some aspects of putting it out because I have a feeling this one's gonna require quite a bit of maintenance. But I'm willing to do it and let's see how this really turns out because I think this will be a really cool and fun cache. Okay, so now I've got the lid on here as well, the top. I've got my hole for where the ball's gonna go in here and it's gonna come out down here. Here is the bottom to the, or the ramp that's gonna be going in there. Um, I've used a little small little dowel rod to kind of give it the angle and measured it so when it comes it hits, rolls out and put a little backstop so the ball won't go back to the back and get caught where it had to have this little gap. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of screw this into the bottom of it and then we'll hang it up and test it. Now one of the things I did because if I'm gonna to have to come out and do repair, I did put screws in the top of this so I can always get access to the top of it if I need to do something with the mechanism because usually, if, it, if anything, it's not gonna spin right. And that gives me the access to that. So I'm gonna get the bottom of this into it and then I will hang it up and we're gonna test it a few times to see how it works. Okay, so got my preform in hand. It is mounted. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. So I just push that preform up there and it catches. All right, so there's the bearing. Now, if it goes well, when I put the bearing in here into the top hole, um, the preform should drop out in my hand. It does. And then there is the bearing. It also came out. Let me tell you, this has probably been one of the most difficult builds that I've done and it's really satisfying to know that this mechanism worked. Hey, I want to know, have you done one similar to this? If you have, hey, can you give me some tips, some pointers? I would really like to hear those. Uh, next week I'm going to get into how we're going to get the marble up and get it in. So there's going to be another part of this to build, but I'll get to that next week. But hey, don't go anywhere. Check out one of these other videos just right over here and find out the story behind the cache.